Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Is this a Team Fortress 2 gameplay going on in the background? With no sound because you're an idiot and you forgot to record some of the sound? Yes, that is true. Now, th now this first uh, good quarter, this portion of the video, will have no sound effects from the video game because uh, DX Tori is being atrociously terrible with me so far. No, I'm not so sure why, but it's just being really buggy. Um, so that's the reason why there was no sound um, playing. But eventually, in later clips, uh, you will hear some sound effects from the game. And you will hear none uh, gameplay commentary uh, from me because I really absolutely refuse to do any more gameplay commentary um, until my microphone comes in. Now that now there's actually there's this video is actually going to be a lot of like I'm going to touch base on a lot of things, a lot of things. So this is a big channel update extravaganza with Team Fortress 2 in the background, and I, I love I love Team Fortress 2. In fact. The whole reason why I got into YouTube personally was from Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentaries, like pure and simply commentaries on Team Fortress 2. That's the reason why I started, oh, that's the reason why I got inspired, and that's the reason why I had it first in my channel. <laughs> and uh, it, it's honestly, like, I gotta give credit where credit's due if it wasn't Team Fortress 2. And for all the people that inspired me, I wouldn't have even tried this out. I didn't even think this was a thing. I didn't even think I would have fun with it. But I am. Anyways, uh, first things first, let's start off with the most important thing besides the gameplay commentary that I totally botched up. And by the way, pay attention to this. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, funny things happen in this good for first portion. And I, I gotta say, I think I did pretty good. Anyways, um... The most important thing I want to say is, during my hiatus of not uploading videos, I've noticed something on my channel, I now have a total of 15 subscribers, oh my gosh, I know, I know what you're thinking, gee, only 15 subscribers, wow, that is weak sauce, like some channels get that in a week, <laughs> well, you know what, um, I'm not those channels, and they're probably doing something way better than I am, as far as I can tell, uh, I am doing my best for this channel. I do actually edit extensively. I am spending a lot of my personal money to improve this channel, and I spend a lot of time editing and all that other stuff and, and making videos. I, I do a lot for this channel, and uh, honestly, I'm quite surprised. I'm quite satisfied and surprised at the pace that it's going, like how well it's going how much support and awesome support I've been getting so far. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have gotten so much subscribers, and to me 15 is a lot, because think about it, I started with zero subscribers. Those 15 subscribers were not made from fake accounts, they're from people who probably thought I was an idiot. So thank you guys very much for all that support, all that love, commenting, liking my videos, all that stuff. It actually adds like it actually helps me out and it makes me want to do more it, it surprise wow like when people pay attention to you you actually want to do more things <laughs> to, towards that uh, a task or whatever it is that you're doing yeah you you feel good about yourself and and it's thanks to people that that have recently been supporting my channel I, I really appreciate it so thank you very much um, so yeah so honestly I'm really I'm really stoked about the 15 subscribers I'm really stoked at the fact that I have broken over 2,000 channel views. I know it's nothing special. I know other channels get that in like one minute of their video. Like the first, the, the first minute that they upload a video, they get that much. And but on, again, I'm very small and very bare bones. I still have a lot of things I want to improve on. Um, so until then, um, I'm actually really quite satisfied with the pace that it's going, and I'm really happy with all the support that I've been getting. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully things improve in the future. Uh, who knows where this channel is going to go? Who knows where I'm going to go with this? Maybe I'll stop completely. But so far, I've been having a lot of fun. It's a really good way to uh, break out of the normal routines of my life. And it's something that I can just relax and talk to and just express myself. In fact, I'm going to express myself a lot because this is going to be a hell update yeah it's all about me and it's gonna be talking about how much crap i went through the past two weeks this two weeks 
has been terrible. And there, there I go. Like I thought I could make that. Oh, apparently, there's an invisible wall. That is very, very misleading, by the way. But anyways, uh, yeah. Again, thank you very much for the people who support me. Now we're gonna get on to the big meat and potatoes. Now the reason, the, one of the main reasons why I haven't uploaded so many videos is because I've been waiting on my new microphone. That is a lot of money. It costs over a hundred dollars. Um, I was waiting on it when I bought it on eBay um, around the uh, oh, let me see like the 10th of July yeah I waited that long uh, what happened was well I no longer own that specific microphone I bought another one today just right now um, on Amazon because USPS totally botched it up it wasn't eBay I know like people who hear eBay are like oh my gosh eBay eBay is so bad um they're not bad it just depends on if you do your research on the seller and you see notice like a lot of keywords from the reviewers um and you need to know about a asking for for shipping and handling like if you know what you're doing then you should be fine obviously like you can say that with anything but ebay takes a little bit more research to uh to deal with but anyways uh so i bought it from ebay and um on the 13th of july I was expecting it around like the 14th, it was the latest. On the 13th, it arrived an hour away from where I live. It was literally in another city, one hour away, uh, just waiting to be delivered to my city. And then something happened. Um, two days later, it went back to California. And I won't say who the specific seller was, I won't say the exact specific destination, but it went back to California and it went to another person and I don't know how and why that happened but USPS was like oh we're gonna do a whole investigation on this whole uh, you know debauchery that just happened and I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely so, so sure what happened as well but no so far nothing good anyways I waited an entire week for the investigation to make some progress and it didn't make any progress whatsoever so I asked the seller hey give me a full refund he gave me a full refund and then I went on Amazon and bought the same exact microphone except this time it was brand spanking new different color and it's gonna be coming within the 29th of July so yeah uh, you guys are this is not the new microphone that I've been waiting for that I've been talking about uh, in the um, last couple of videos of my Nosgoth videos so this is still my crappy microphone that I bought just to test out the waters of YouTube and so far I really like doing YouTube so I was like why not dedicate some more money uh, on a microphone that I would like to sound better and personally I hate my this microphone so as far as I can tell um, the reason why I haven't done any more YouTube videos uh, recently is because my microphone has it came in and I don't want to do any more crappy audio but this update is very important and I need to tell you guys the other reasons why I haven't been uploading and all this other bullcrap that's been happening to me so that that was one of them the other reason why I haven't uploaded any videos is because uh, I was recently in the hospital on um, the last couple of days and I just came back like literally like 10 hours ago uh, and I wanted to do an update update video um, when I got back home and what happened was I was in the hospital I had a bowel obstruction and that bowel obstruction was the result of my um, previous surgery on my appendicitis which I had around January about like six and a half months ago now honestly uh the doctors were like oh well the reason why you had a bowel obstruction is because it's most likely because you don't eat enough fiber you don't exercise and i tell you what if you guys know me you'll believe that is absolutely bullcrap there's no way that would happen <laughs> yeah because i i stay fairly healthy I, i've been eating like fruits this entire couple of months like nothing but fruits uh because i'm trying to cut down on meat and uh but i i've been eating nothing but fruits i've been biking to work every single day just to save up some money so i can afford that microphone and uh yeah i've been working really hard um to stay healthy and to save up money and so uh the other reason would be because of 
like certain altercations that's been made in my stomach area, which aka they're referencing to my appendicitis surgery and or they call it an epidepi- epidectomy <laughs> doop, doop. and um, it was it was most likely because of that and it completely was painful uh, a bowel obstruction mine was very minor but a bowel obstruction was honestly really really painful I could not deal with it and it went lasted for about three days when I was in the hospital they had to stick a tube in my nose to vacuum out the stomach stuff like the tube would go into my nasal cavity and down my throat and into my stomach and I had to drink like water as they were shoving it down so that way it doesn't go into my lungs uh, so yeah that was also fun and very very painful actually it wasn't fun at all I'm just gonna be serious like it, it was really painful it was really miserable it really depressed me having that lodged down my body and um, I felt like Batman the entire time the fact that he couldn't move his neck uh, I I was stuck in a very fixed position a very uncomfortable fixed position for the path like for the first three days I was in the hospital and um, I, I was also vomiting a lot as well when I had my bowel obstruction because nothing none of the food that I ate would go through my lower intestine by the way so uh, I was vomiting everything because it wouldn't go anywhere so my, my body rejected all the food that I ate anyways so they had to vacuum it and um, in order for my stomach to handle like to relax a little bit and that that's the reason why but yeah I, I felt like Batman I couldn't turn my head it was very uncomfortable I had to sleep in a specific way I had to walk a specific way I had to look at some things a very specific way you'd be surprised how detrimental like your life can be due to the fact that your head cannot turn a couple of a couple of degrees it was it was absolutely terrible and it was painful like if if I were to uh, turn my head the tube would rub against the nasal cavity in my the back of my throat and It would be very very irritable It's not the worst worst pain in the world, but the fact that it's constantly there makes it really bad uh, I know there are worse things in life But holy crap that was really painful and also the fact that my stomach felt like I was getting stabbed in the belly uh, Did not help at all Anyways, so I was also starving those first three days because I couldn't eat anything because nothing was passing through my stomach. I had to relax it, and so yeah, I was starving of food for the past couple of three, like the past couple of days. Ugh, it was absolutely terrible. And they said that oh well, in order for your stomach to relax a lot better is for you to walk around the hospital, like the hallways in my floor. And so I would have to ask the nurse, I would be like, hey nurse, can you uh, unbutton me for a couple of times? Or like, not unbutton me, but unplug all these tubes that are coming in me because I had a IV bag, obviously, because I couldn't eat, so I needed to stay hydrated somehow. Um, so I had to carry my stupid IV stroller thingy um, around me. Like, it was an inglorious version of stupid Wilson from Castaway. Uh, it, it literally tagged along with me everywhere I go and also the fact that I had that nasal It's called an NG tube an NG tube in my nose. Um, I had to walk like like a very stiff Frankenstein with a stupid uh, IV stroller thing on a jiggy and it was it was really not the most endearing thing in the world And it's definitely not the funnest thing to do So I had to I had to do that for the past couple three days on an empty stomach a lot of pain going through me so that way my stomach could recover and fix itself I didn't have to have surgery thank goodness because I really could not tolerate another surgery it was it was just really terrible anyways after two extra more days um, um, after like the fourth day of my hospital visit they finally removed it out of my nose it was the best thing in the world I was able to talk properly it didn't feel like I was like Gollum or Smeagol from Lord of the Rings because it felt like there's like a bone stuck in the back of my throat because there's a tube in the back of my throat it wasn't a bone but it felt like a bone that was stuck in your throat and you couldn't get it out and you would constantly do <laughs> the entire time it was not cool so that also explains why I haven't been recording was because I was in the gosh darn hospital it was really a really painful experience anyways on the fifth day which was today um, I was able to eat some food 
And actually, it wasn't today, it was yesterday. The sixth day, I was at the hospital for six days. Uh, the sixth days, I was finally able to go home. After I ate some nasty hospital food, it was really not as good as most people would say it would be. I had dirty old turkey with gravy and stuffing. I really didn't like that with some disgusting short strawberry shortcake. Not the best thing in the world, but I had to eat it because they were like, hey, it will make you feel better. So I ate it, and I was able to digest it properly, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that was the whole big thing was if I can digest proper food. And I was able to, and I'm able to go home. Now every time I eat food, I'm going to look at it. Like, you know how like when you eat food, and you're like, hmm, I'm hungry, I'm going to go eat this food. Oh, I'm craving some donuts. I'm, in fact, I was really craving donuts for some reason on the third day. But uh, yeah, so you, you, you know, you crave donuts and you go get a donuts to eat, obviously, right? Well, now every time I eat food, I'm going to reference my bad experience and I'm going to be like, huh. Is this gonna is this gonna hurt me and put me in the hospital? Yeah, I'm for, I'm kind of traumatized. It's like no joke. It sounds like a really funny joke. It it kind of is. Like maybe in the future I'll laugh about it, but right now, it it completely traumatized me, and I really really don't feel like eating food at the moment. But I'm really hungry, so I have to. I have to do it because for survival. But I don't want to do it because I'm afraid of going back to the hospital. I really don't want to go to the hospital. But since I got back, which was a couple of hours ago, not a couple, but it was like 10 hours. Once I upload this, it will be about like 13, 14 hours past when I got back home from the hospital. But uh, uh, I wanted to tell you guys on my crappy microphone that uh, there I go falling again in the game. But I want to tell you guys exactly what the situation was that I had a really, really bad couple of weeks and everything just did not go my way and I'm, I'm not so sure if that's a sign of something or whatever but I'm I'm gonna have faith and I'm gonna keep pushing and I'm just gonna continue on with my life and I'm gonna try and improve myself because life is hard you know you, you really gotta know what you gotta do you really like especially in my age it's, it's really tough to find yourself and I'm still finding myself uh, again I'm, I'm doing like YouTube for God knows what or why but I'm doing it I don't get money for this and I don't got not getting any I'm not getting anything for doing YouTube and I'm doing it anyway but I don't know I'm just like stuck in a rock <laughs> right now and with the hospital and all that other stuff and pretty much getting not really I don't know what happened but getting screwed over by USPS is just really screwed with my morale but hopefully, but when I saw the YouTube channel just getting really good and big, it made me really happy, and it's because of all the support. So, <sighs> yeah, I can't say thank you enough. Thank you guys. I can't wait until you know this YouTube channel actually gets big, and it's it's gonna be because of you know the people who support it constantly. Thank you guys. Also, my computer had like really bad malware, so it took me an entire day for me to completely clean out my uh, my computer of bad software. Um, I pro I most likely accidentally downloaded because I was trying to do something. Uh, and I accidentally clicked on, um, you know, recommended installation, which usually entails, oh, we're gonna install a bunch of this stupid software that you don't need into your uh, computer, and that's most likely what happened to uh, my computer. Why why I had so much bad software. So uh, anyways, like a bunch of ads kept popping up on Google and I ended up uninstalling Google and reinstalling it and that got rid of the ads and I completely cleaned out my computer so it should be running fine. But that was also another detriment to why I wasn't um, recording any more videos. And I also went to Kansas City for vacation like a good like week ago actually, a good couple weeks ago, two, two, two weeks ago I went to Kansas City and I'm gonna tell you this, Kansas City kinda sucks, I don't like that city. If you live there, I feel sorry for you. Uh, where I live isn't any much better to be honest, that's why it kinda sucks. <laughs> it's because it reminds me of my hometown. But yeah, um, unless you like Worlds of Fun and stuff like that, go for it, but me, I'm not a thrill seeker, I don't like fancy rides and speed and all that stuff because I'm, I'm a really lame ass kid but anyways that's that's it I just I just had a really terrible couple of weeks and uh, just want to let you guys know that I'm not giving up on YouTube I'm still waiting on my mic it should be coming soon 
And I uh, hope you guys didn't mind this really, really long commentary that got cut off immediately. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys very much for watching, listening, being awesome. Can't wait until the for the future of this channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.